I'm Aaron Dominion uh, with the Creation Kit Scripting Series Papyrus Tutorials. Uh, this is the fourth part of the Events and Functions series, and we're dealing with return values for functions uh, in this episode. So what are functions with return values? They are functions that you return a value that you'll assign to some variable or you'll use in a calculation or something like that. Uh, examples that we've seen already uh, is dud. Uh, it returns a boolean, or in, an example that we've seen already, excuse me, it returns a boolean value uh, is dead about whether an NPC or creature is dead or not. Uh, another example that I found uh, in the object reference uh, script page is get distance, which returns the current distance between one object and another. Uh, so, how do you make a function return a value? Um, well, before you create your function, you put the variable types such as int, float, boolean, object reference, etc. Um, and then at the end of the function or wherever you want the function to return the value, you use the keyword return and then you put the name of the variable or the calculation that you have done at the very end. So a simple example on here that you've probably seen in past episodes, if not, well, it's add health, uh, we're taking the actor health and adding a value to it, um, and simply it's just returning uh, the calculated result of actor health plus added value. Okay, so what are the valid return types? Uh, we have integer, we have boolean, we have float and string as your like primary uh, types, and then you have objects, object reference, actor, location, etc, etc, etc. You might be able to return scripts. I don't know. We'll get to that at, when we get to it. Um, and then you can return arrays as well. So why would you use return values? Um, it allows for property values to be transferable between scripts, which is really useful. Um, you can link a series of calculations easily uh, between different functions or uh, I'll get back to that one in a moment. Uh, we can assign uh, calculated values easily to properties. Uh, that's pretty useful. Oh, link a series of calculations. So if you're doing a profits calculation, for example, uh, you can go, oh hey, here's the first segment, now let's get to the second segment, let's get to the third segment, and just so on and so forth until you have your final profit value. Alright, and then the final reason why you'd use a return value would, uh, at least that I have listed here, there are other reasons, uh, because it's just so useful and fundamental. Um, it makes for clearer understanding of the purpose of whatever value that you're assigning or the current assigned value for your property or variable. Okay, so let's uh, play around with simple return values real quick. Um, going back to our cell with the health giver, uh, we have function return values, all the same variables in play. Let's look at the script. So, we're going to use all the same code, except this time we are going to create a new function down here that will return a value. Okay. So, inputs, we're going to have no inputs for this function. Uh, this function is to get death counter. This is going to be our getter function for that property. Uh, so our property is of type int, so this must be of type int. And then we're going to call this get death counter. Okay. End the fun function block, and then we use the keyword return, and then we put the name of our property there. Um, just for the purpose of uh, showing return types, we're also going, if you see this plus one right here, 
we are going to uh, change that real quick. So inputs to this function is going to be uh, current value and the purpose of this function is to add one to the input value. Okay, so it's again going to be of type int and it's going to be add one to value is our name and int and we're going to say curve value there and what we want to return here is curve value plus equals one typically you will never do this but this is for a teaching opportunity here on why we're doing this okay so let's go up to our event on update game time and we are going to oh made a mistake here we do not need to have a new value for the get function because it will never be used and that will just wait memory okay so instead of that it's going to be get death counter as that function and that should be it for our event up there. Now let's look down here and sure enough let's go here change that to get death counter just to show you that part and instead of this we're going to have an equal and then add one to value and then have death count as the input value. And that should be good to go. Let's go here. Let's save it. Okay, we have an error line 89. Let's see if that fixes our error. Let's exit out of that, reopen it. Okay. Let's not do that instead. do that and see if that's what's complaining about uh, it really doesn't like uh, that function Alright, because we're assigning a value, that's probably why it's uh, not liking it. So we're just going to have current value plus one. That, that makes more sense. Sorry, I'm a little tired doing this video. I'm doing it later than I should probably. And there we go. Yeah, that was it. So, save that, and I will see you in the moment for the testing portion. Alright. 
waiting for the game to load, and we should see <laughs> all the stuff that we've seen before work again. If it all is all working properly, let's get our bells out. Sands are cold, but Khajiit feels warmness from your presence. Again, it's gonna take a while to spawn. Um. Any moment, Skaver. Give us something exciting to kill. us again. Should pop us a message death count if everything was uh, added correctly for the get. Yep. Let's update the death count. And that's it. Everything will be the same as the parameters video. If not, if if you don't believe that the Hellscaper won't spawn again, go watch the other video. We actually went through uh, the next life. I will see everybody in a moment, though, for the conclusion of this video. And we are back. Uh, here's my contact information. I will have it in the description of the video. As, uh, feel free to message me with the contact information here or on YouTube itself. If you have questions about the content of return values for functions or uh, any of the past or future videos that I'll do, uh, special requests for uh, tutorial videos or scripting questions in general. Um, until then, I will see everybody on the next episode where we're going to shift gears a little bit. I will talk a little bit more about that though in that episode.